right, so we are here today. I'm here today. We're here today with Lori Meyer, owner of Gift of Sense. And I'm super excited about this. Lori is a special friend of mine. She's a friend first and a vendor second. But one of the things I love about Lori are her products. And her products, she makes um, absolutely the best candles. We've had several different candle makers here. And I love the candles that Lori produces for several different reasons. And we're going to talk about that today. But before we go any further, let's introduce Lori Meyer and Gift of Sense. Lori, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, so my name is Lori Meyer, and um, so I came from, um, I was a missionary to Brazil. I love that. And um, a lot of things happened along the way, but God brought us to um, Gallatin, Tennessee. My husband started a handyman business, and then I got back into it and started it. So. That's so cool. So did you make soy candles before, and then this yes. is like a re-entry? Yes, oh, I originally started learning. making soy candles as a fundraiser um, okay. for a mission, and yeah. then... I just loved them so much and I, I really wanted to get back to making Wow, I did not know that, so that's really cool. Um, one of the great things about you that I noticed right off, your candles are excellent. So we've had lots of different people bring candles and we've burned lots of different candles. They smell good, they look good, and they're healthy. And we're gonna talk all about that um, in just a second. So Gift of Sense is a candle company, but it's unique in the sense haha, that it's extra, like you go the extra mile to make it healthy. So talk to us about what makes your candles different from everybody else's. Yes, yeah, so with all of my candles, um, what got me into making soy candles was uh, my health. So I couldn't burn candles, like people would give me candles as gifts and it would make me sick. I would start wow. coughing, um, I would get respiratory issues. From the candle. Um, from the candles. That's crazy. And so I started telling people I can't do candles. I can't do candles. Right. And then someone gave me another candle for Christmas. And I was like, oh. And they're <laughs> really like, try nice. this one. They're like, try this one. It's all soy. All really? Soy. And I burned it. It was clean burning. It had wow. no black soot. I did not get sick. And I was like, I gotta find. I gotta look into these candles. That's huge. Yes. That's huge. And they're hard to come by. Yes. I mean, you have to be really intentional. If you go to like. TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something, those are not soy candles. <laughs> and then some will advertise falsely as soy candles, but they'll be mixed with uh, the paraffin wax. Really? Which it's, if it says soy blended or anything like that, okay. most likely it's not full soy. So your wax is 100% soy. Yes. So I my, love that. My candles are all soy. And one of the, one of the ways to kind of test if it's soy is... Like, um, like when in my glass candles, when you burn mm -hmm. them, there be no black soot. Got it. Um, so they're clean burning. I I really put a lot of emphasis on quality. Yeah. Clean burning because that's what's important for me and my health. Right. I don't want those toxins going in and making me sick. Sure. And so I can still have a house that smells amazing without all the toxins. I love that. And then talk about the fragrance because I have not smelled candles like yours ever <laughs> before. They're amazing. Yes. Yeah, so I get um, all my fragrances from Candle Soy Lotions and um, specifically for soy candles. Okay. And, and that um, makes a difference. Yes. Yeah. Um, so they mix better. I make sure to mix them at the exact temperature right. that needs to be poured at the exact temperature it needs to be. There's a lot that goes in with the temperature of the wax for right. mixing to make sure that it holds the scent all the way to the, the last burn. That makes sense. Um, so a lot of the scents I have right now, Whispering Pines, we have coffee, leather, cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> I love we have cinnamon. all kinds of just different scents. I probably yeah. have like the teak wood. 30 cents, yeah. Oh, yes. And so, and I'm always trying new ones. So every couple of months I am, I'm testing one or two new scents. Um, so stay tuned. I'll always I love that. I have never smelled anything bad. They're all good. I have, I have favorites for sure, but I've never smelled a bad candle from you. So this that we're looking at right here is yes. pretty fantastic. Let's talk about this. Okay, so this is just one of the different shapes um, that I'm offering. This is just seasonal. What I have is what I have um, in the shop. It's a snowman. I so, love this. And it's double is, wick. Yes, double triple wick. Actually. Triple wick. Oh my goodness! And I love so it. Has three buttons. I have that in the whispering pine scent and cinnamon. Perfect. Um, but I also have a lot of different shapes coming out. My most popular. My most popular I seller love this. is the Dolbo candle. This and looks beautiful as a centerpiece on your coffee mm -hmm. table, stack on some books with a little bit of florals to the side. It smells so good. I love these. Yes, and then once you're done burning them, you can actually reuse the bowl wow. um, as a centerpiece um, for, your, for your table. 
That's a huge draw card because how many canisters do people throw away? And here's something that's reusable and aesthetically pleasing. That's yes. gorgeous. And then with the soy wax, it's easily cleaned up with just soap and water. So okay. So you just wash it out and then you're good to go. It's such an easy wax to work with. You can put your jewelry beside yes. your bed. Yeah. No, I love that. Keys and envelopes. You can think of a thousand things to do with your noble. <laughs> and it's just another, another um, very shape. popular shape. Yes. So, and then I'll be getting more in. I'll be getting horses. I'll be getting... Hearts. I love that you've got some pretty little hearts. Oh, I do have hearts. Yes. I might even have them this weekend. Really? Yes. Okay. So one of the cool things that I love about Lori, and I like this about all of our vendors, but Lori really just takes us to the next level. She's forward thinking. So we talk about this. We always want to lead the trend instead of following the trend. And I think Lori does a great job of that. So tell us what's on the horizon with Gift of Sense. So um, come New Year, I'm also looking at um, expanding my products to offering pet deodorizers um, that are safe, pet safe as well. Mm -hmm. And those will be a little different. Those will most likely be an essential oil line. Perfect. Um, but they'll be safe for the pets and just a nice way to um, make your house smell good. Sure. Keep all the odors at bay. Um, and then I'm also looking into offering uh, just regular air freshener packets. I like use my car and stuff. I have the sachets, um, but these ones will be more available like for your car and things. That's amazing. So much to look forward to. Laura, you are exceptional. So people can find your products here at Southwater Manor. She's got a booth and they're trinkled through um, this part of the shop. What about an online presence? Where can they find you online? Yes, um, I do have an online shop. Um, it's at Gift of Sense. Perfect. So you can find me on Facebook at Gift of Sense and then I have an online shop as well. Very good. All right, so definitely support small business support. Lori and her family, Gift of Sense and Southwater Manor, come out and check what's going on. Thanks so much.